I was born and raised in the Houston area of Texas. Uh, I've been here in Korea for 10 years, primarily as a teacher, sometimes with children, sometimes with adults, sometimes in company settings. Ah, um, my background is actually originally in teaching, and I grew up in a neighborhood of second generation immigrants. We had families from Japan, New Zealand, many, many different countries in my area where we lived in Houston. And always one of the big barriers in school was language, you know, in elementary school and, and middle school. And so I think that the internet with the combination of technologies and, and the way people are pushing things like Babelfish and some of the other translation engines is to overcome those problems of just basic human communication. That's, that's my greatest hope, is that we can get the technology to the point to where people from different cultures, different backgrounds, different, different languages can freely communicate and get their ideas across the first time. It, I had never really considered any kind of threat until about five or six years ago when the first viruses started coming out. If you've ever been a person who's had to deal with a computer virus or a hacking attempt or a heard of identity theft, um, as the technology grows and becomes more regionalized and globalized, those viruses have very real potentials on economics, communication, some of those same stability factors that we've been depending upon computers for. So something along those lines could be catastrophic in a way that we normally think of things like war or widespread diseases. Oh, that's such a difficult thing. Um, I've, I've I'm a big supporter of open source projects, um, Linux, Ubuntu, etc., just because it seems to me that there are more people out there that are willing to try to help create parts of solutions um, than there are the people that are really, really determined to break down those systems. Um, I think one of the greatest things there that we have the ability to do now is empowering developing countries with the same kind of technology that we sometimes just throw away. So really educating people and getting them the basic means for participating actively in positive ways, and I think that's got to start in the school systems. And if you could describe the age of the internet in one word, what would it be? One word for the future of the internet? Hopeful. All right, great. Well, thank you so much.